Today we're talking about trainers and I'm so excited because I love trainers. I've always been a trainer person like literally all my life. There's a picture of me at school and you can see everyone's school shoes and then there's mine and they're right there, pink converse and that just sums me up perfectly. But yeah, this video is highly requested and I'm just gonna show you my trainers. I'm gonna say which ones are my favourites, which ones I don't like, and which ones are good for dancing, because I always get asked which trainers should I dance in. So I'll let you know. Um also I don't like I'm if you, you cool. I'm not like one of those people that is a full-on sneakerhead, like I get all the limited edition expensive trainers. Um obviously I have a few, but like not my whole collection. I just I just like all trainers, we don't discriminate here. I'm going to start off with my Jordans because I know everyone always asks me about them, how many I've got, all that jazz. But I only have, to have, I have four pairs. These were the first pair that I got. They are the pink quartz mid Jordan ones. I have an obsession with just buying pink, black and white trainers. So this was just like perfect. I was like, cool, going to get them. They cost me £200 which is so cheap because I swear I've seen these being sold now for like £500. Disclaimer, I didn't pay £500 for these. These are cute, my favourite colours in one shoe. I like dancing in these, people shout at me for dancing in them but at the end of the day, I didn't buy them just to look at. I don't get people who like or want to keep their shoes perfect. I bought mine to wear. These are my first pair and I love them, but then after hit these ones, I bought the mockers and then I was like, oh, look, these are so nice. I actually, when I bought these, I went out in them and I've never been complimented on a pair of shoes so much in my life. Like everyone just kept talking to me about them. And some people, I feel like they thought I had the Travis Scott ones and I thought, I don't. I think I paid like £300 for these and again, I think they're also being sold for £500. <gasps> But I love these. These are my favourite Jordans out of all of them. Second pair of Jordans I got were these ones. Ugh, I forgot what they're called. They're, these are mids again. I got them because they were black and white and I just wanted a pair of black and white ones. And the other black and white trainers they have are like, are well expensive. But they're just, these ones are so like, they're rock hard. They're like, they're just rock hard. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. I think because of the material they're made out of, they just feel really stiff. And my last pair of Jordans are these ones. And these are the, I feel like the, the Jordan Zooms. They've got like this spongy material. Um, I've not really seen anyone with these. I don't know why, because they're comfy AF. They look nice. Like if I've got an old black and white outfit on and a pop of green, I'm like cool and so comfy. I could dance in these all day. My only issue is if you live in like a rainy country, they're not good for the rain because of what they're made out of, which I do, but oh well. Right, now we've got Air Force Ones. And when I first had these, I didn't understand how people danced in them because they were so heavy and chunky. And I was like, these are not comfy at all. But then I realized I had the shadows and they're different. First pair of Air Force ones that I got were these ones. I got gifted them from JD um, and they're the shadow Air Force ones and they're a lot chunkier and harder and yeah I just don't like dancing in these at all. I actually forgot I own these but they're a really cool colourway. Um, the pink, green, blue and red. cannot say these are my favourite trainers but they're not that bad. Then I bought these ones one year, they're like a creamy beige colour, the suede and they're actually really nice but I bought these years ago and people always ask me where they're from and I literally can't find them anywhere. Do you see the difference? I don't know. Then I bought these ones, again it was literally just because they were pink. Um, I don't really wear these often to be honest because I just don't like how thick they are. Like I love the colour of them. So pretty. My friend Shannon made me some custom trainers. This is where I discovered these are the Air Force ones that everyone has and everyone loves. They're just a lot thinner and lighter than the shadows. I prefer these ones. But yeah, my friend Shannon made me some custom Air Force ones. They've got like a little cow print on them. They're in my favourite colours, pink, black and white. I also have a plain pair with absolutely nothing on it because 
these were gifted to me from JD again. But I understand why everyone wears them now because they literally match everything. And you can wear them with skirts and you can wear them in summer and you can, they just, they just go with everything. So I get it now. But these are going to be like a pair that when they're ruined, I'll buy another one. Right, so these are my favourite trainers at the moment. Like, I want to buy these in every single colour way. But I can't because they always sell out and it's really annoying. Dunks. Oh, I love them. <laughs> They're just so comfy. They look nice. I have a blue pair of trainers, which colour is not something I go for, but I'm obsessed with these. They just look so nice with any outfit. I'm, I don't even like the colour blue normally, but I love them. And they're just so comfy. I would just, it annoys me that they keep selling out in my size. I had to buy these at a reseller price. I can't even remember how much I paid for them, maybe like 250 which is so much compared to what they should be. And then I've got the Nike Dunks Low Disrupt and I also, these are also my favourite, I love these. And like, they're in like a beigey cream colour again, but similar to them Air Forces to be honest. Kind of similar. And they have that little like spongy tongue again. I don't know what that's all about. Anyone wants to give me some dunks, I will take them. Size 5. Now on to my other pairs of like Nikes or Nikes, whatever you call it. I have two pairs of the 270s, Air Max 270s. They're good for the gym, good for dancing, they're comfy. These are just like a basic pair for me. <laughs> Um, I also have a pair of blazers. I don't wear these often just because they are a pain to get on. Like, because of all the laces, you can't just slip them on your foot. You've got to sit there for ages trying to do them up. and it, Or like when you try and take it off. And, um, I wore them a lot last summer with like summer dresses and stuff. And then I have these. These are like my oldest pair of trainers, I think. Um, Nike Reacts 270s. My most worn pair of trainers ever. Um, I literally just wore these everywhere. They were so good to dance in. And they just look nice. And look, look, the pink, black and white trainer theme. And my last pair of Nikes. I have some slip-on Reacts. These are my gym trainers. In all white. And there's nothing really much to say about these. But they're good for the gym. Then these are my newest pair of trainers. And it's the Adidas Uggs. Oswegos? Oswegos? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But I love these. These are in like, oh, they're like a mint green colour. And they look so nice for summer. And I got sent a matching top too, because these were gifted to me from JD. I just love these. And I also have this like, grey pair. But these look really nice with a pair of joggers, leggings, skinny jeans. They get the dance approval. They're nothing like my other pair of trainers, like they're completely different, so that's what I like about them. I also have these slip-on Adidas trainers, but I have absolutely no idea what they're called or if they even sell them anymore. Um, I bought them years ago. Then I have these from Under Armour and these are another pair of gym trainers which I love. Um, I would literally only wear these to go to the gym or like working out in. And they also have like that Bluetooth chip in them so you can use that app. When I, like when I pick gym trainers they need to be like full on like workout gym trainers. Not like fashion look. Even though these do look nice. You, you, do you know what I mean? Why is my phone stuck? <sighs> these are my pair of Puma trainers at the moment but I've got some on the way. And I, I was going to wait until they arrive to film this video but I do that every single time and then I never end up filming this video so I've, I've, start, I've just gone for it. Um, but I absolutely, I wore these to death last summer, the, the Puma Cali trainers. I feel like they're the Puma equivalent to the Air Force Ones. I feel like you have to have a staple all white pair of trainers. Now these last pair of trainers I would not recommend to dance in at all, zero. They do not get the dance approval check. I have danced in these before, like on TikTok or something, but they're literally just like 15 second videos that I've filmed quickly. I wouldn't dance in these for hours because your feet will hurt. First pair, Vans. They're cute, they're summery, 
They look good, I like them, but not for dancing. They've got like a little floral pattern on them. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot I owned them. <laughs> I don't wear them often because I forgot. Um, Converse, same as Vans, you do not want to dance in these. Ugh. I walked for hours in these the other day and I got the first blister I've ever had in my life. These are my summer trainer this year. Um, constantly wearing with everything and I got the high platform ones I love I love them makes me want another pair of converse then I've got these Bronx trainers and these are so heavy with like weight on and they just don't like they just don't bend at all so imagine trying to dance in that your foot literally does not move <laughs> Um, but they look really cool. Like they've got this like Dalmatian pattern on them. Then I've got some, is it Veja? Ve Veja? These are like everywhere, everywhere. If you go to, I went to London the other day and I could not get over how many people were wearing them. I feel like they were way, more people were wearing them in London than they do in Manchester. But um, people like these because they're sustainable and they're vegan, I think. And they're just a really nice pair again of summer trainers to wear with summer dresses. And skirts and they're not the comfiest of trainers but they look cute and my last pair of trainers the most expensive pair that I've got is the designer they're my only pair of designer trainers I'm not really like a fan of designer trainers I've not seen any yet that I thought yeah I love them <laughs> but I did buy these because I went through a stage of being obsessed with Dior and I really just wanted to buy something from there and I was like trainers obviously that's my favourite thing so I bought myself some Dior I forgot the name of them Dior 2.0 but I might be wrong um slip on trainers kind of remind me of the Balenciagas except from the Dior I bought these about two or three years ago now I still wear them now they need a good clean but I think these were around 600 pounds for a pair of trainers I know, stupid. I'm not much of a spender to be honest, I like saving money more, but I like to treat myself every now and then. But that is my whole trainer collection. I will link everything in the description if I can find them. Um, my trainer collection is going to be growing forever, so expect another one of the, these videos in a few months. And especially when I move out, I want a room just full of trainers. Let me know in the comments what pair of trainers is on your wish list next because I'll have a look and if I like them I'll add them to mine. <laughs> I just want dunks, more dunks. Oh I nearly bought a pair of New Balance trainers actually, I think I'm going to get some of them as well because I don't have one. 